Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to be talking about delegation and why it's important, when to do it, and what to let go of first. So I've actually been having a lot of conversation about delegation recently, and it's been really, really exciting. And the reason why is I personally believe that the reason why we need to delegate more and more frequently is because we want to make more money. And at the end of the day, we only have a certain amount of time. And you need to get your time back in order to make more money. If you're completely capped at how much money you're or how much time you're ma- you have available for yourself right now, then it can be a little bit challenging to make space in order to make more money, right? There is ways you could go about it. And sometimes you could just be limited. Like if you're in a service providing business where you're trading time for money right now, it can be a little bit challenging to increase how much money you're making if you have no other time. So You need to utilize your time to be doing money-making activities like conversations, content, and delivering your services. And if you're putting your time and energy into other things in your business particularly or in things in your personal life that aren't actually serving you yet you know they must get done, then it can be quite challenging to to, to create that money and, and things need to change. Cool? So I personally believe that you really need to be delegating as soon as you possibly can. Like right now, if you were to look at your budget and if you had like a hundred or two hundred dollars available per week, even less than that, like some things you could actually be delegating even at fifty dollars a week. It's really important to start utilizing that money in order to delegate the things that are not actually being a return of investment. They must get done, yet they're not really a return of investment of your time and your money. So doing this will change the game for you. And I want you to look at the way that you perceive spending money on delegation is it may cost you $50 an hour, let's just say, to delegate something, yet if you utilize that hour to your full potential, you could make thousands, some cases, tens of thousands of dollars in that hour. So is it worth $50 so you could get that time back so that you could create thousands, tens of thousands, 20 of thousands of dollars from that $50? Like it's a massive return of investment when you look at it that way. So the very first thing that I actually delegated was bookkeeping. When I went into business, I was like, bookkeeping makes me want to hurt my brain. <laughs> like I just, I just did not want to know the numbers. I didn't want to even attempt to make sense of the tax and the government system. Like I just was like, I need to figure out somebody that knows how to do this bit because I know that I will not make the time to do this. So from the very beginning, as soon as I got a business in ABN, I had a bookkeeper from the very, very beginning. And in my personal opinion, in business, bookkeeping would be by far one of the very first things that I would delegate unless you're a wizard at bookkeeping and you know the ins and outs or you have a if you've done it in the past as a job like you know what you're doing then sure however for me personally it would hands down be the very first thing if anyone was to ask me what's the first thing I delegate in my business I will always say bookkeeping always without a doubt and so I, the, in 2020 it was when I also got my first VA and at some points I've had 14 people I regularly delegated to within my business and my personal team. So there's been times where I've had 14 people that I have delegated and depended on to get things done and like I I couldn't even fathom trying to do all the things that they did for me at the same time as growing my business. And 
like it, yes, like the one thing I I get a lot about from people is oh, but it's like no one can do it as good as me. Yes, no one can do it as good as, good as you, unless it's actually a weakness of yours and you have no idea how to do bookkeeping. There are people that can do it better than you, and there's some things that people can't do as good as you because you know your business better than they do, and that's okay. And you've got to be okay with that. Like you've got to be okay with that. Some of the things that you get that. Um, other people are going to do may only do it at 80%. And some people are actually way better at it than you. And you've just got to trust for them to take over for them to then create better results for you. For like another example could be like ads. Maybe you want ads in your business and you have no idea how to do ads. It could be better to actually hire someone that is great at ads so you're getting a better return of investment. It's a less risk in that case. Cool. Yay. So I'm going to give you five steps on how to figure out what to delegate first. So if you're listening to this, write it down, pen and paper. And if you're watching the, um, or if you're listening to the recording of this, then pause it at any time and write these questions down and actually ponder on these questions. So number one, is I want you to write down everything in your day-to-day life that you love doing. Like what is it in your day-to-day life that you love doing? Not business, your personal life. Do you love cooking? Do you love taking your kids to school? Do you love um, cleaning your bedroom? Do you love decluttering? Like what is it that you love? Do you love the gardening? What is it that you actually love in your day-to-day life? And then I want you to write down everything that you love to do in your business. So do you love content creation? Do you love being the one, like the face of your business and the front of your business? Do you love the creation of the products? Do you love being in the one-on-one calls? What is it that you love that you like absolutely adore doing in your business? Then you're going to write down all the things in your day-to-day life that you don't like to do. So do you actually hate doing the grocery shopping? Do you not like doing the lawns? Do you not like doing the pool cleaning? Do you not like taking your kids to school? Like, what is it? How, like, what are the things that you don't like in your day-to-day life? Then you're going to write down the things you don't like to do in your business. So whatever that might be, it could be the bookkeeping. It could be the admin work. It could be the data entry. Like what is it in your business that you really don't like doing yet, you know, is really important to have done for the sustainability and the growth of your business. And it, and a great example, if you're like, I don't really know what it is that I don't like. Think about when you create a to-do list and the thing that you always put on this week and then it, you never get it done this week. So you put it on next week and then you put it on next week and then you put it on next week. Like I want you to think about those things because they're probably the first things that you want to be delegating. And then I want you to start to have a look at what someone else can do. So have a look at the things that you don't like doing and go, okay, what out of these are I really, really not like the most? And what can I a budget and afford right now to delegate straight away? And then go look at the prices. So you'd be very surprised with VAs. Like VAs are actually quite affordable depending if you're choosing one that's offshore or one in your country. Like it really just depends and especially depends on what they're doing for you. Like I've, I've paid anywhere between $15 to $60, no, actually to $90 an hour for some form of VA. It just depends on what it is that you're wanting. So start to have a look around, get a, get a price, get a budget. And then you know what to aim for, or if you have the money, implement it, do it. Like you will never look back. It was the best thing I ever did. And the other thing I want to mention is sometimes delegation doesn't actually cost you any money. Sometimes you just need to ask the people around you for help. So some things that I've delegated where it hasn't been a money exchange is my mum watching my son so I can do some work. Like I remember a time when my husband broke his foot and Ashley is normally the one that is with Atlas most of the time and he couldn't do it because he broke his foot. So he was in bed, he had surgery and my mum was the person that 
I lent on and was like, hey, can you please come and help me? I need someone to watch Atlas so I can do a shitload of work in one sitting rather than having so many days to do it. So she would, you know, come up and she would spend six or eight hours with Atlas and I would just go ham and all, and I would put all my coaching calls together. I would do all my content batching together and I just delegated someone watching Atlas so I could do all those things. Maybe you could organize your partner to do and cook dinner on certain days if you know that you're going to be busier in that evening. Maybe you're working longer hours and you say, hey, Kay, hey, Hub, can you please do Tuesday, Thursdays and Fridays for dinner and I'll cook the other days. Like get creative with this. Depending on how old your kids are, there could be some things that your kids could be doing as well. So just remember that. So maybe you're wondering, I actually have no idea what to be delegating. So I'm going to share some of the things that I've delegated in my life that you can be like, oh, I never thought of that because they're, they're all things that give me time back. And if it doesn't give me time back in my business, it gives me time with my family or it gives my whole family time to be with each other. Cool. So I've broken it down into two sections, personal and business. So number one is personal and things that I've delegated is getting my groceries delivered. Like if you live in Australia, Woolworths, you can actually pay $15 a month and get unlimited delivery to your door if you spend over $50. So like, think about that. Think of how much time you would be saving and the fuel, oh my goodness. Think about how much time and fuel you would be saving if you chose to get your groceries delivered and how much money you would be saving on the shit that you would normally not buy. (laughs) You know, when you go in the groceries and you're like, you know, puddling along with your, with your trolley. And then you're like, Oh, I'm kind of hungry. That snack looks great. Oh, I totally need another candle. Oh my God. Like that container would be so great. That coffee cup, super cute. And then before you know it, you spent like over $400 in your, in your groceries. (laughs) <laughs> delivering your groceries stops that also. So, you know, you're saving time and money by getting your groceries delivered. So great. Um, another thing is a car wash. Like how amazing does having a freshly cleaned car feel? So great. And the visual of it is just even better. So getting a car wash, drop your car off. If you're also looking for a park and you can't find one, drop it off at a car wash. If you're if you're in a um, shopping mall and they have a car wash there, drop it at a car wash. You don't have to find a car park. Your car is already taken care of and it's getting washed while you're doing the things at, at the shop. So great. The other one is a dog wash. I recently got someone to come and wash my dogs like every um, two months and it's the best. So, so great. A cleaner, which is one of the obvious. I love having a cleaner. I have a fortnightly cleaner at the moment. Um, She does all the things. I can give her a list and be like, hey, these are the things I would particularly want. Like maybe I noticed that the walls had marks on them or the windows from the rain or whatever. She will do those things and it's super great. Um, You could even get them to wash your clothes. Like I haven't had someone wash my clothes yet and that's because I don't mind doing it, but these are some great things that you could be doing. Um, the other thing I have is a pool cleaner. I have a pool. And when we first got here, we didn't realize it was a salt water system and we had no idea how to look after it. So we just hired someone that can come to our house once a fortnight and clean our pool for us. So our, our pool looks pristine all the freaking time and we don't have to worry about it. Like it's super, super affordable and so great because we always know that our pool will be perfect for whenever we want to get in, no matter what day of the year. So, so awesome. The next one is lawn. So when we had a smaller property, we used to get our lawns mowed all the time. Um, we had a lot of like really dense gar- like gardens at the front of our house at the old property and they would always come in and clean all that out. That's like, that was great. Ashley now loves doing the lawns because we have a ride on mower. So it's still delegated. I don't do it unless I'm like, oh, I feel like mowing the lawns because it's fun. (laughs) Um, So now Ashley does it. So it's still delegated. And lawns are actually quite affordable as well. Um, 
the other thing I had is a, and still have is a personal assistant, Tina, the love of my life. <laughs> she is my savior. And <laughs> she cleans out my inbox. So like my email, she's booked appointments in for me. And I, like, there's been times like the podcast, for an example, there was like three months where I didn't do podcasts. And all of a sudden I looked at my calendar and there you go on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, it says do a podcast. And I'm like, Oh, look, it's been scheduled in. I can't, stop doing it now. I have to do it because it's in my calendar. <laughs> so Tina did that for me and she's booked appointments for me. So she's helped uh, organize like appointments or um, meetings and things like that. She's also looked at events for me. Um, she's gotten quotes for me for my house and things like that. Super great. Organized um, my schedule and all the things. So you need a PA in your life. It's goals. Seriously, the best thing ever. You need a Tina, just Tina's mine. So you can't have her. <laughs> the next thing is business. So here are some things that I've done in my business for a delegation. Bookkeeper, like I've mentioned, admin. So this is more of, you know, like the back end of your business, the data entry. Um, if there's like creating terms and conditions and just making sure everything's all in check. Website design, I am not tech savvy at all. So I've delegated web designs in the past. Customer engagement, so building the foundation of your Instagram or your Facebook, um, having some engagement in there, having an extra set of eyes of making sure that um, everyone's taken care of. Um, fail payments, so if people are failing payments that you can get someone else Um from your team to then send them the failed payments. The reason this is actually a really important one, especially if you're someone that is a service provider and you're really um, high touch with your clients, having someone that handles the failed payments in your business is really, really vital because that way the energy of your exchange with the person that you're consulting is more about the service exchange rather than having to deal with the money exchange. So if you have someone in your team to then deal with like the failed payments or changing payments, it will feel like there's a cleaner energy between you and your client rather than having to put the hat on of admin and then the hat on of a coach um, or any kind of service provider. So I think that's like one of the really, really important is to, um, have somebody else do the failed payments for you. Lead magnets. So getting an email sequence is super important. Um, important. I've had reels created. So, um, many, many times coaches along the way saying you need to do reels. And I'm like, I just don't have time to sit there and just put them all together. Um, and I got someone else. So Saxony is an incredible um, real creator. She, anything you see on my Instagram, um, wellness with Sax created them. So if you want some delegation of your reels, definitely hook um, a girl up to Sax. She's incredible. Having your branding design. So getting some templates designed in Canva. Um, photographs are so getting a photographer to do your your content. And another thing you could do is you could get a bunch of friends together when it comes to photographs and all take each other's photos. You're delegating it still. Email marketing, podcast uploads, like literally this is how great delegation is. I'm showing up right now, recording this podcast on Zoom. I'm also recording the video of it so it can be uploaded via YouTube and Tina's going to do that for me. It's also on my Facebook group and I see you guys. Hi. <laughs> it's also in my Facebook group right now running live, which is a video and Saxony is going to pull that video and turn it into reels for me. And from that alone, um, one of my VAs, Ema, she's going to be doing all of the back end of putting the podcast onto the podcast platforms. She then also puts it into a transcribing that converts the audio into words. So then Tina can then turn it into a blog post for me and put that on my website, all by me showing up for one hour, less than that. An hour, hour including writing the notes for this um, podcast. Like that's the power of delegation is I'm showing up for this one piece of content and it's going to go podcast, YouTube, Facebook group, reels on Instagram, email marketing, blog posts. Like that's six, six platforms, six platforms, power of delegation. You know how long that would take me to do by myself? 
way too long that I would just throw it in the bin. Soup that like that explains the power of delegation. Incredible. Invoicing. So getting someone else to send your invoices or paying invoices is another thing and the data entry. So there's a couple of spreadsheets that I have that have all my emails, oh, all my clients in and um, any information of like scorecards and um, marketing and anything that I want to um, measure, I have data entry for that. So there's a heap of ideas of what you could be delegating right now in your business. So there's probably a few of these, and I would love to know if you reach out to me on Instagram to tell me which ones that you're wanting to delegate first, because I would love to celebrate you. And I know it can be challenging, especially if you're a woman, because I don't know why I have a feeling it's to do with the society expectation of women trying to do all the things and be everything for everyone. We feel like we put on these Wonder Woman underwear that's like, I can do it all. And they use it as an ego boost to be like, I am the best because I can do everything. And deep down, you're actually mentally and physically exhausted by trying to do like three full-time jobs in one lot of time. And it's time to let that old paradigm just drop off and fade away. Like women need to support women. And the other benefit of this is as you grow and make more money, you're helping other people grow and make more money. Like I always look at, at the beginning when I had to delegate things or when I chose to delegate things, I was like, oh, I actually felt like I was pedestaling myself. I was like, oh my God, I feel like I'm, you know, being, (laughs) being a queen, like come here peasants come and help me. Like that's literally what stopped me from for so long. Cause I felt so bad getting a cleaner. And then I remembered, I'm like, fuck, like me actually having the money to be able to give work to someone that they love cleaning. Like my cleaner comes in and she like changes up my kitchen and she's like, gets really excited. And one day she came over with a gurney and like gurneyed all the concrete around it. <laughs> um, Yeah, she like cleaned everything because she loves the cleaning. And how great is it that I have the resources to have a cleaner that I get to pay so she can have food for her kids and a roof over her head and whatever else she wants to do with the money because I chose to delegate and give something away that I didn't want to do. I never wanted to do it. So it's actually a win-win by getting a cleaner. So for so long, I had this like thought process of, oh my God, I'm creating slaves for myself. That's literally what I told myself. And then once I got over it, I was like, oh my God, like I'm actually helping all these people. Like at one point I was helping 14 people have like an income. Like how freaking great is that? So bloody great. One thing I forgot to say that I delegated is waxing. <laughs> I have an amazing, I have an amazing beautician, April. <laughs> I think I've mentioned her a couple of times in the podcast too. Um, but I, I delegated the waxing because I just didn't have time to shave my legs. <laughs> it's great. And I can listen to audiobooks and have a chit chat or reply to clients. Another thing is delegating also is getting Ubers. Um, I love it when Ashley drives with me to places that's like super long hours. Um, like we, the other day we went to Toowoomba, which is about a 40 minute drive from me. And I was like, can you please drive? I've got a heap of messages to get back to. And by the time we got to the shopping mall, I was like, oh my God, all my work is done. And normally I'd be behind the wheel. Like they'll like, like let people drive for you if you, if you have that option, because the work is so much, like you just get so much work done. So great. So with that all being said, if you are now in the market of wanting a VA, if you're wanting to someone to help you with your online business, please reach out to me as I've got multiple connections that I can um, connect you with so you can have your first VA. I would love to help you with this. There's something really exciting coming that is secret school business for now. And trust me when I say, if you reach out to me, um, 
I will be able to support you with getting your first VA, which will be super duper exciting. I'm super passionate about helping people create systems so they can hand over parts of their business. So it runs while they can actually spend more time in the process of making money. So this is all coming secret squirrel business. Yes. Yes, indeed. (laughs) So if you are curious and you're ready to, yeah, delegate some of your business, message me. I'm really excited to help you with that. So have an amazing day. Reach out to me on Instagram and let me know what you're going to delegate first or tell me what you're already delegating because this stuff makes me froth. It's just so exciting when people actually let go of the reins and, and do this. It's a real business when you start to delegate, in my opinion. So yay. Have an amazing day. Bye.